Okay, so let's say that you don't remember the formula uh, to find the sum of the measures of the interior angles of a convex polygon. And you have this quadrilateral here, and you say, I, I don't know how to find the sum of the measures of the interior angles. Well, all I want you to think about is this. What do you know? What shapes do you know where you know the sum of the measures of the interior angles? And you will probably say, wait a second, I know the sum of the measures of the interior angles of a triangle is 180. So you should say to yourself, can I break up this this quadrilateral into triangles? And the answer is yes. Think about it. If you gar start here at this vertex and go over here, you now have two triangles. And you know this is 180. Oops, I forgot I got to go back into the writing one. You know that this is going to sum, these angles are going to sum to 180, these angles are going to sum to 180. So this must just be 2 times 180, which is going to be 360. Okay, so what if you have a different gone? Let's just start drawing. We'll see how many we, sides we end up with. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Okay, so now I have a seven-sided polygon, and I want to know what's the sum of the measures of the interior angles. And again, you can just say, wait a second, I can just break this up into triangles. So pick a vertex to start at. So in this case, let's start right here, and I'm going to make it pretty obvious, okay? So you're going to start here, and then you're just going to draw a line to all the remaining vertices that are not connected to this vertex already. So obviously this one's connected, and that one's connected. So you're going to go to all the remaining ones. So you're going to go like this, one, two, three, and then everything's been connected. So again, we're looking at 180, 180, 180, 180, and 180. So all you have to do here in this case, just say, well, take a look at this. I ended up creating one, two, three, four, five triangles. So it's just going to be five times 180, which is 900. There you go. So you never have to memorize the formula 180 times n minus 2. I mean, if you want to, more power to you, but you never have to memorize it. Just whenever you get a polygon, just break it up into a series of triangles, count how many triangles you have, and multiply that number by 180, and you're done.